This is Ivy Times TV, Thursday, August 11th. I'm Kate Cameron Lau. A test flight of the Falcon HTV-2, a hypersonic plane capable of reaching speeds roughly 20 times the speed of sound, ended prematurely early on Thursday when ground controllers lost contact with the arrowhead-shaped plane less than half an hour after it took to the skies. Launched at 7.45 a.m. Pacific time from the Vandenberg Air Force Base northwest of Santa Barbara, the aircraft soared to the upper reaches of the atmosphere aboard an eight-story Minotaur IV rocket before being unleashed from its protective cover. The craft then nosedived back toward Earth before leveling out. Instead of speeding westward for 30 minutes before plunging into the ocean about 4,000 miles from Vandenberg, as originally planned, at approximately 20 minutes into the flight, an announcement was made by the DOD's advanced research facility known as DARPA via Twitter stating, quote, range assets have lost telemetry. The latest tweet to be posted by DARPA since then reads, quote, downrange assets did not reacquire tracking or telemetry, has an autonomous flight termination capability. More to follow. No further details have been released at this time. The Falcon HTV is an unmanned aircraft that can travel up to 13,000 miles per hour. The aircraft is fast enough to travel from Los Angeles to New York in just 12 minutes and withstand temperatures hotter than the melting point of steel. It also has the ability to send a missile to an identified target within an hour. HTV-2 is DARPA's second test flight after a few changes were made when the first attempt failed last year and crashed into the ocean just nine minutes after takeoff. The aircraft was never recovered. K. Cameron Lau, Ivy Times TV.